Tim, perhaps if I could start by asking you, what does Sensen Neurotrust do? In other words, what's its objective? The objective is to invest in good quality, consistent, reliable companies in the continental European area, so Europe excluding the UK, on the basis that the chances are that the main investors in the fund will already have existing UK holdings, they won't want me to duplicate that uh, in our portfolio. Our skill has got to be finding those top quality companies in Europe. I was just going to ask that actually, how do you go about achieving that objective, finding those companies? Yeah. Uh, I mean, the sort of the cop-out answer is years of experience, um, which is perhaps not particularly helpful. Um, but that, I mean, that's certainly an element of it. You know, it's knowing these companies and knowing also where Europe is good and where Europe is not so good. And so the things that are changing in Europe, you know, what does that mean for our companies? Where can we find the opportunities? So it's getting away from the old obsession of the fact that Europe's you know, demographically challenged and a slow growth area and all the rest of it. And it's finding the opportunities of where companies are changing and where the interest actually lies. Would you say you've got an investment style? If anything, the investment style is growth biased, um, but it's not, it's not sort of growth with ridiculous multiples and all the rest of it. I like to see a company that can increase the return to me as a shareholder. So that includes also the dividend. You know, one of the things that I'm really pleased about is that Eurotrust has got a good track record of steadily increasing the dividend each year. It's not a yield bias, but it just means that every shareholder gets a little bit distributed to the shareholder each year, while at the same time the underlying assets growing as well. That's our objective. And are there any limits or restrictions on where you can invest in Europe? Uh, again, the simple answer to that is no, but I'm not going to start uh, putting the money into Russia and Kazakhstan and any other country ending in Stan and all the rest of it. I'm not going to start trying to be really smart in emerging and uh, esoteric markets. I'm looking for pretty well the established European markets and established companies. And it tends, for that reason, to also follow my own experience, which is the mid to large cap companies. Now, I'm not going to start doing what Ollie Beckett does very successfully with TR European growth. I'm not going to start trying to eat his lunch. You know, I'm more in the sort of mid cap and the large cap companies. What about stocks themselves? How long do you typically hold a stock? Do you take a long term view? Yeah, well, I guess I do. I mean, uh, one of the holdings that uh, I'm very proud of is, is the holding, for example, in Inditex. You know, we've been a shareholder since that company came to the market in 2001. You know, we're still a shareholder today. Uh, the dividend yield I get on the original shares that I bought is uh, some 20%. Um, you know, it's a very successful holding for us. The company's still doing fine. I'm very happy to hold it for the very long term. Uh, so it tends to be a sort of buy and carefully monitor. If the company's being successful, then we want to participate in its future. And we will do so, hopefully, for years in some of these cases. And finally, uh, how do you uh, work? Is, is it just you or is there a, a team behind you, is it a team approach? I make the decisions, but I'm backed by an immensely strong team. Okay, I, couldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to do what I do without the help of the analysts we got on the European team and without the strength of the European team at Henderson today, which is probably the strongest it ever has been before at Henderson. So we've got an immensely strong team, super interaction between, uh, between us in terms of ideas, different views on ideas, but above all, getting to see the companies, see the analysts, and do the research on the ideas, really get to the bottom of what are really good companies. And I do that thanks to the team that I work with. Um, but I then create the portfolio. So it's very much a team effort, but it's not a committee kind of sitting down and this is a good idea for this fund. I make the decision, but I'm drawing on excellent and very clever colleagues. Thank you very much. Thank you.